Well, thanks for joining us again for another Saturday Soup Special. Hi and welcome back to the Jamaica Kitchen. My name is Drew and today we have another Saturday Soup. And today's soup flavor is gonna be beef. And we're gonna use beef bone for our stock. And then for the beef itself, we're gonna actually use beef short ribs packed with flavor. So have a, let's have a look at the rest of our ingredients today. So for our beef soup ingredients today, we have beef bones. And those are washed very carefully because the larger bones sometimes have some bone fragments left on them after they've been sawed. So make sure you wash your beef bones good. And then, and then we also have about three and a half pounds of beef short ribs. And I like to use the short ribs because they have such a beefy flavor. Really, really tender once you've cooked them properly. And then we have some wonderful Mexican scallions I found today at the store. And then one large onion chopped. We have two russet potatoes. And this is some yam that I had left over from another meal. And of course a scotch bonnet. And I'm going to always use my scotch bonnet until they build a rehab uh, clinic for scotch bonnet addicts like myself. <laughs> and then I also have three sticks of celery. Um, some carrots, baby carrots. This is one coyote squash or better known to Jamaicans as chocho. I have one turnip. I have, that's about half a butternut squash. And then I found this beautiful fairy tale pumpkin today while in the grocery store. So I'm going to add some of that too. All right. There's our ingredients for the day. So let's get started. And for our seasonings today, we shall be using two teaspoons of black pepper, five teaspoons of herb de Provence, one teaspoon of allspice, two teaspoons of garlic powder, some fresh thyme, and instead of salt today, we are going to use my favorite bouillon. All right. So today we're going to use the pressure cooker to pressure cook our uh, beef bones. And in the pot here, I've got about four cups of water with approximately half a tablespoon of salt. And then I'm going to go ahead and add our beef bones. You can do this just stove top in a pot. Uh, it'll take a couple of hours. To get really good results sometimes longer depending on your bones but doing this in the pressure cooker we can cut a significant amount of time off and probably bring it down to around about 30 minutes so we're going to go ahead and put those under pressure while those are pressure we're going to go ahead and brown our short ribs okay this is the pot that we're going to go ahead and cook our soup in so I'm going to brown the, the meat in this pot as well and then that way when we add our soup uh, liquids back in it'll deglaze the pan and add more flavor and here's our short ribs and it was given a light seasoning with uh, seasoned salt and garlic powder a few hours ago and in the pan I also have a couple of tablespoons of oil I'm just going to place these down in the bottom here Brown them up really nice. Like I've said before in many of the other videos, go ahead and brown your meat. It does nothing but add flavor. I think can get almost all of this in here. Ah, not quite. Yeah, maybe so. Go ahead, brown these meat, and then we're going to add them to the pressure cooker because short ribs take quite a bit of cooking to get them really tender. So we're going to add them to the pressure cooker once our beef bones are cooked.
Okay, our short ribs are beautifully browned and ready for pressure cooking. In the bottom of that pan there's a bunch of caramelization for where I brown the meat. Now we're going to go ahead and add about six cups of water to, to this pan and deglaze it. Okay, so in our deglazed pan, we're going to go ahead and pull our thyme. This is our uh, pimento, garlic powder, black pepper, and our herb deponents. We're also going to add our celery, our garlic, our chopped onions and these beautiful Mexican scallions I found today. Alright, bring that back to a boil and then we'll start adding our veggies. Okay, in goes our uh, carrots and pumpkin squash. There's our butternut squash, our coyote squash, and our turnips. Give it a quick stir. And I'm going to go ahead and throw in the scotch bonnet and replace the lid. And we'll put the yam and potatoes in. Probably about 15 minutes. So our short ribs are done and as you can see extremely tender the bone literally falls right out and leaves the short rib meat by itself. That way we don't have any bones in our soup and we just have our short ribs you can cut them up into smaller pieces if you like. See how tender that is? Can't get that without pressure cooking or cooking for at least two to three hours on the stove. Okay, here in our pan, that's our beef broth. It's made with our bones and steaming our uh, short ribs. And then we also have our plate of short ribs. Extraordinarily tender, packed with flavor. Short ribs is hard to beat in flavor outside of oxtails. The other parts of the beef, some of them are pretty good and some of them have pretty good flavor, but chuck roast and stuff like that in which a lot of people, or stew meat, and which a lot of people use in their soups, can't beat this. Short ribs, trust me, try it. Okay, in our pot, we already have our onions, our garlic, our carrots, our coyote squash, our pumpkin. I'm gonna go ahead and just ease the scotch bunny out for a few minutes while we add the rest of our ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and add our potatoes and yams. And I'm also gonna add the beef broth from the pressure cooker. If you could smell that pan. Wow. And add back our pepper. And now we're going to add our meat. Careful not to pop the pepper. All right. And let this boil again another 15 minutes or so and then we're going to taste for salt and then we're going to add some soft dumplings on top I'm going to show you once again how to make the soft dumplings but you could also see how I make soft dumplings and hard dumplings in a chicken soup I made in a different video in the link below okay so in the bowl we have about one and a half cups of self-rising flour and we're going to add to that it's a tablespoon of butter. We're just going to break the butter up throughout the flour. And this just helps 
with the texture of the dumpling. We don't add any salt to the flour because I've noticed that the flour, this particular brand that I'm using is quite salty already. So I don't add any salt. And we're just going to work this butter through the flour. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right. This is super simple to make and it has a very bready texture. Um, especially if you fry this particular dumpling and I'll show you that in another uh, video coming up shortly. I'm going to do ackee and sawfish with fried dumplings. But it's kind of difficult to obtain the ackee here in my state on a regular basis. We do get it, but it's hit and miss. All right. So now we're going to add some water. You add water a little bit at a time. Until you get the proper texture and the texture is kind of similar to when you make biscuits and you don't want to overwork this too much either because then you can also stop it from fluffing as nicely as it should Pretty much at the texture now that we want. And we're not going to work this too much. So it's quite soft and it's quite wet, but it's not wet enough that it's not leaving a lot of residue on my hands, you see. Okay. That's it, we're going to sit it to one side. It will raise a little bit between now and when I put it in the pot. But that's soft dumplings. And if you want to see hard dumplings, you can go ahead and look in the description below and you'll see a link to the chicken soup. And we had both soft and hard dumplings in that particular soup. So now we're going to go ahead and taste. Yep, just needs a, a little bit of salt. Let me switch my spoon. And I'm gonna go ahead and add, this is a dessert spoon. I'm gonna go ahead and add one dessert spoon of beef broth. Perfect. Shouldn't need much because there was a, a tablespoon of salt that went in the broth when I was boiling the bones. And then the meat was seasoned also with seasoned salt and garlic. So that's salt again. And we just needed to add just a little bit more. But you can add as much salt or pepper or whatever other seasons you like and make it your own. That's perfect. All right. We just let this cook down a little bit more because some of these veggies aren't cooked all the way through. And then we'll go ahead and we'll add our dumplings. And they only take about 10, 15 minutes. And it will also help thicken this a little bit more. This is actually already quite thick, but it will thicken the flour and the dumplings will thicken that even a little bit more. All right, be back shortly. Okay, it's time to add our dumplings. And see it's raised a little now inside there. Just a little bit. Can use a small spoon. This is a really small spoon. And just do small spoonfuls on top. They do not have to be perfectly shaped. They do not break apart. Flour in the dumpling adds thickening to the soup and really and truly this one is pretty thick already it doesn't need much more thickening but i like using the soft ones in this particular one i remember when i was a kid that we used to have uh beef 
and suet dumplings as a kid in England I used to love that but they used to use short ribs to make that too it's so beefy and, and rich and sometimes would make steak and kidney pudding and it reminds me of that too So we have our little dumplings at the top. This takes about 15 minutes to cook. Doesn't take long at all. And once these are done, soup's finished. Look at how rich and beautiful that broth is. It's amazingly rich. Oh, I can't wait. And here's our fluffy dumplings. And yes, Here's the scotch bonnet, my addiction, and no, I'm not ashamed about it either. Thank you again for joining me today. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And if you don't hit the subscribe button, don't forget, whatever device you're watching this on may explode. So go ahead, hit it now. 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 Thank you. You guys have a blessed evening. Damn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how man feed man belly. <laughs> <laughs>